Look at these a lot of hotter colors. I mean, that's a hard, yeah. that's a very difficult color to hit. That so you have one screen, which, you know, less labor right. to, to right. get it ready. But then you're also probably getting a better hand by not having to lay all those colors over it necessarily. Look at the neckline on this. That's a really That's a nice, Colin shirt. Really nice That's what Colin likes is that yeah, nice thick that collar. Is, yeah, that is really nice. How long did it take you to get here just to the flight? From door to door, 24 hours. Oh my and goodness. was it worth it? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I got to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
but um, I'm definitely signing Sarah and I up and the rest of the girls in the office. Again, I, I love this show. It's the second year I've been to it, and it, again, it was a sign show for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the thing about signs and uh, paper printing, all that, it's gone down because things are more digital, right. whether it be a sign or, or even a business card. You can have it on your phone. So Print United, essentially, just coincidentally, apparel became a big focus, and it just keeps getting bigger. I mean, I compare the show to um, printing Impressions yeah. Long Beach. A well, absolutely. Well, the apparel has its own hall, its yeah. entire hall. Well, and again, you've got a lot of blank suppliers here, like Next Level, Bella Canvas. Yep. Um, yep. And, and you can see the, the newest uh, lines and... You know, speak you know, to your reps. Yeah, if you look at this, look at the neckline on this. That's a really That's a nice, Colin shirt. Really nice That's neckline. what Colin likes is that yeah, nice thick that collar. Is, yeah, that is really nice. I'm glad we walked over here because this, oh. is, this is great. <laughs> it's such a big show. <laughs> I it, it gets. I know. I mean, there's almost too much. This show is so big, you honestly need three full days and you still aren't going to get the whole experience. No, I know. I know. And you can... I mean, and samples. You can come back with samples. We're going to have a bunch of samples in our office, and this is great to have. You show people, and then they buy it. People see it. They like it. They want it. You feel like a kid at the candy store. I know. I know. You know, it's funny. You go to uh, events, and they often have a promo product, and then here it is a promo industry, so uh -huh. have a lot. And right, then right, here's another thing right, we do. Right, we right. have someone like Merrill bring us over to... <laughs> A tonal is that what a right? tonal? A tonal, a tonal. What does a tonal mean? Uh, it's like a dissonance, like a it's a music term, I believe. Okay. My brother had it. Okay. So, yeah. So one thing we do here at the show, I'll go around and look for new uh, blank apparel vendors, and try to get them on Deco Network's um, catalog. So we don't charge anything to do that. It's just working with the actual vendor to get the data in the right format to us. That can be a challenge. But we are always looking to add new vendors, making it easier for you to be able to create those quotes and orders um, because you need the products there to be able to create that nice mock-up. And it looks like here with hats, what, I mean, you guys are doing just about everything? Yeah, we started about a year and a half ago, um, two years ago. Uh, we brought in some basic products, and we've been kind of chasing some fashion-forward things with elevated quality materials and sewing. Um, we have a chunky corduroy. It's very pronounced. Where and uh, in a few different colorways than seen here, and then we have a cotton nylon uh, hat that uh, takes heat really well. A lot of our decorators are pulling the rope behind the the cap to decorate, and then uh, and then go ahead and heat press your direct to film transfers. A lot of five panels for the reason is, you know, a lot of people are doing direct to film transfers on them. Hey, I don't care if it's just DTF. A five panel is easier to sew than a six panel. For a lot of people, yeah, that's absolutely true, yeah, yep. And our our, our six-panel truckers do so really nicely. We've done a lot of product testing since we do, we're, we're decorators as well, um, not for Atonal, but we do product test all of our products quite frequently, um, and they do so really nicely. They're soft. They're not like another uh, trucker hat that maybe is, like, very stiff to get a needle through. Absolutely. I, I mean, hats this. are as popular as they this. This is a little bit different than your normal hat. Yeah, it's a little different material. It's it's a uh, it's got oh, and look, it's got Colin's favorite. It has one. Colin's all about the rope, and then secondly, he loves it when you can hide that you know stitching from back there in the Absolutely. back. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gives it a little structure to hold that that point up. For some yeah. people, they're after that that look that keeps that that front tall. Yeah, you can rock that. Do I look, I look gangster in this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very. <laughs> All right, Meryl, we've got a lot more to see. Okay. All right, Matt, we're right. going to be working okay. on it. Yeah. All right, bye, Matt. We'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. This is just, it's such a fun show, a lot of energy. Um, and again, you, you see everything here. Um, I mean, beyond look at, apparel. Look at, the, look at the beautiful prints. I mean, there is a. There was a machine down there using HP inks that was printing latex. That was the color was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe the color for signage, for you know, for car magnets, for metal signs, and you know, you you get to see everything in one spot. So you see, if you don't have the machinery, you know somebody else who does. You can utilize their services. Yeah, it it it's absolutely. Um... Small information overload. I don't know about you, but you, you finish your day and you're kind of like, 
My head hurts. There's a yeah. lot. Of... <laughs> I know, I know. But you know what? Honestly, I get excited going to these shows because I. Oh, absolutely. Oh my God! Anything with well, anything looks great with glitter, right? UV. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. That holographic. You know, you. Yeah. That's something you're not going to do on an eco solvent typically no. because eco solvent does not typically have that white ink um, versus the UV does. So you can see they're using CMYK, uh, a couple layers of clear, and a couple uh, white to yep. give it that extra durability as well with that um, clear coat. Yeah, so it's interesting. So this is a bulking system, and this is a cartridge system. Oh, they're different machines. Well, yeah, yeah. and this is yeah. an eco-solvent. Yeah. You know what you don't see very often um, is a Mamaki next to an Epson. No. But again, dealers, no. you, you often, you typically don't go direct to a manufacturer for most equipment. Uh, you actually go through a dealer because... Right. One, a tech should typically install the equipment, and right. two, if you have an issue, you're going to uh, need to have it worked on. Right, right, right. You have to have the right, the right service person, you have the right technicians, and usually these companies that are manufacturers' reps, they have, they know a little bit more because they've been dealing with other lines for many years. Well, and one of the you went Mamaki. I mean, one of the reasons yeah. why. I mean, you're talking about a company that's been around for a long time. There's a lot of peace of mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going with a company like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I specifically did that because of the longevity, the the quality of the company, the quality of the machinery, the ability to get parts, because that's a big problem sometimes is parts. But <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> Gigantic. Look, okay. And this is just our hall. Right. You know, right. this is the South right. Hall. There is another hall that is as big, if not bigger, Right, and it's really hard to fathom again how many uh, vendors there are. I yep. am pretty convinced that this is bigger than Impressions Long Beach, just I, the apparel yeah, side. I think I think so. Yeah, now that is so. not knocking apparel's lo apparel no, Impressions Long no, Beach. I mean, really, no, I'm not. No. I would never knock any impression shows. They're great, uh -huh. um, but there's really two shows every year that are just kind of above the rest: Print United, Impressions Long Beach. Um, yeah. and, next year the show will be in Orlando. Yeah. With, yeah in your yeah. backyard. I know, I know. And Printing United was not like this a couple years ago. It was not. It just like blossomed. It wasn't even like this way last year. No, no, no. But it just blossomed into apparel. And I think because of print on demand, digital printing, that, you know, that the other printers had no choice but to open their eyes and see this is what's going on. And things that they knocked before, now they can't knock it because, you know, people are asking for it. Oh my, oh my gosh, God. you want me to do a ski ball? Ski ball. All right, right. Meryl. This is my favorite Competition. game. Man. All right, yeah, <laughs> scan it. It's like a little That's the, city on the board. Man, I have not let one person scan me the last two days. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So stand by test, right? You're going you're gonna to really stand out <laughs> above the rest. All right, Meryl, you got to compete okay. with me. All right, okay. Wait, this is a lightweight yeah. ball. This is. Listen, you guys hit 100. Look at the tree. You can take the ski ball like machine along. Yes. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, I was an expert in hey. uh, in a Alright, so you gotta get a hundred, right? This is what you're saying? Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? yeah, you gotta <laughs> Okay, all right. That's the right technique right there. Oh man. Yeah, it's a good Do I yeah but she's <laughs> this is her generation. She's got the better oh, skill for man. it. Well it's the ball. It's the it's, <laughs> it's, it's all about the ball, it's not the it doesn't you have enough that weight. Hard ball. Oh you got ten. All right. Oh I got ten. All right. The bare minimum, that Does sounds kinda like me. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Look at the balls, no worries. We'll be here all Does day with Meryl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let me get a picture of you doing that. But she's going to nail it. Yeah. No. It's so light, you don't give it credit of how difficult it's going to be. You need those baseballs. Yes. Oh, right in. Okay. All right. I feel like I could throw it right in. <laughs> Here, let me try it. Let me try it. I've got it. Now I'm fighting it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a 10. Justin. That's me, Justin. Thanks. Thank you. You too. That's fun. Now, if I only knew what they actually did. Okay. <laughs> it looks like they do signs. They, they must do signs. So, yeah, I mean, and, and I'll tell you something that Colin is obsessed with is how cool these displays are oh they, these God, booths are so cool. we've almost thought about doing um you know ranking the top 10 best booth displays oh, no, that's a good idea i think it's too difficult to to judge them 
Um, Did you see that big Tesla over there that they were wrapping? Oh, yeah. In the red yeah. metallic foil? Um, looks like here we have a, oh gosh, is it a milling machine? I mean, it's a, it's like a, a flatbed cut. No, yeah. it's a flatbed cutter. Yeah. Um, but they're going through some thick material there. Yeah, that looks like look, oh, oh, it's plexiglass. It's like, you have been plexiglass? Look, it's pretty cool though over there. Oh, you saw it just closed. Yeah. It can change the cutting tool that it's going to be using for the different types of materials. Oh, wow. Technology's fun, isn't it? Oh my God, yeah. And again, at, at most of the shows we go to, we don't see this. No, no. And you don't see like the stuff coming out of it. I guess it sucks it it's up. It's got a vacuum yeah. connected to it. Cool stuff, Meryl. Very cool stuff. Here's a here's something I'm really starting to see a lot of, Meryl, is engraving. You really have two leaders in this space. Trotec and Epilogue have always been the two main brands. Okay. What I've seen in the past eight, ten years yeah. is well, really, probably more in the last five, is a lot more desktop engraving machines. So if yeah. you're like a little hesitant to get into this and, and you know, you don't want to take, you don't want to spend $10,000, $10, $20,000 plus, uh -huh. Xtool is one of the newer brands where, hey, they have desktop units. Look how intricate you can get on it, too. Oh, look I the, know. Look at the detail. So that them. looks like a, um, when it comes to laser engraving, you really have two main types. You have CO2 lasers, uh -huh. and then um, this one looks like a Galvo. Uh, it just depends on what you're primarily going to be decorating and what effect you need. Are we going to cut? Are we going to mark? Are we going to engrave? Um, so there's, again, just like I said earlier, there's a tool for every decoration um, application, and it's going to come down to the artwork, the quantity being purchased and the substrate that it's going right, to go on right. to. The artwork is a big. The artwork is a big thing. I mean, that is for our industry. I mean, it is a big thing. I think we all deal with it every day. People thinking that their graphic designer is sending us artwork that is not, you know, the greatest artwork, and and then how do we have to handle that? It's a that, that's a, that's a big issue in our industry. Well, there's this guy, Chris. He came all the way from Queensland. Australia. How's it going, Chris? Wow. We played uh, Top Golf with him <laughs> the other day. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. how are you? Well, he's, he's an absolute character, guys, because he's oh, Australian. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta love the Aussies. <laughs> are you having a good show, Chris? Yeah, it's been awesome. Pretty good, uh, pretty good stuff on display and getting some new ideas. You don't always see this in Australia, but in Europe, you do have a lot of these shows, like the Vespa show, really good, we were talking about. Yeah, I want to get there at some stage. We've got shows, but it's probably not on the same scale as this. So, yeah, we were talking about how big this show is. It's incredible, it's massive. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, first day I was worn out. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy was trying to get us to go out clubbing the first night. And we were like, we're tired. But he, again, guys, think about that. He traveled across. How, how long did it take you to get here just to uh, flight? From door to door, 24 hours. Oh, my And goodness. was it worth it? Of course. Yeah. I got to meet you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> how long have right, you been in the United States for? Uh, leave on Sunday after the uh, Sean O'Malley show. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Commitment. Okay, okay. yep. Yeah. I'll see you, Chris. Yep, yep. Yeah, we will. All right. <laughs> He's down to party. Yeah. So, Meryl. Yes. We had a yes, really sir. cool podcast uh, that we made. We Alpha did. Broder. They are a part of the big three. Yep. Alpha was just acquired by the second biggest SNS. If you look at, you know, and I'm not saying, hey, revenue is everything, but if you look at the revenue of SNS and Alpha and you combine them, yeah. they pretty much may equal Sandmar. Yeah. So what, what's unique about Alpha, though, is they've always been an apparel um, supplier, but they do a lot of hard goods now, and they ventured into the promo they world did. with yes, it. They did. And yeah. They, yeah. they sell it blank plus decorated. Yeah. So if you're trying, you know, I, I'm really getting into UV DTF. Uh -huh. But I don't feel like putting, you know, 200 stickers on something. So I kind of like the idea of offering the same product that I can buy blank right. or I can send to the supplier just like you described with PCNA. Right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so, and, and, so, so this is, they have um, Prime Line. Yep, that's their brand. And, yeah. Again, they're part of the big three blank suppliers. PCNA hit Alpha. They are the three biggest. 
And, you know, if you could put your logo on it, they got a lot of these products. They, they sure do. And I think that having, having the um, Prime line has opened up more decorate, apparel decorators to sell promotional products. I think promo has exploded. I don't think. I know. Promo has absolutely exploded in our industry. Yeah. I know you just got a uh, GTX uh, Brother DTG printer. Yep. yep. I've always been a big fan of uh, Brothers DTG. Mm -hmm. This Aeon printer, we've been in some shops with them. I mean, it, it's incredible, but you know what I've never seen inside that thing? Look, it's got a screen wow. in there. Wow. So what do they, I mean, again, we have a new digital so it's, process um, yeah, or so, hybrid. So it's a hybrid process, I guess. It is which screen is, which printing is the white cool. underbase going in there yep. and then digitally printing over. That so you is, have one screen, which, you know, less labor right, to, to right. get it ready. But then you're also probably getting a better hand by not having to lay all those colors over it necessarily. So I wonder if that ink is a special ink that will, it has to be, that holds the water-based DTG inks. It has to be a like Well, a back there, I am I bet it has a, it's got to dry it at some, well, it could be wet on wet. I don't know, you got to, yeah, we're going to have to come back we're and. We're going to have to research yeah. that technology. And well, I know, it's. Again, it's so much to absorb at a show like this. Right, right, and right. Well, you know, with DTG and the DTG inks, the white, the one part of DTG that's at issue is that the white clogs a little bit sometimes. So something like that, you're not clogging the white because you're squeegeeing the white. Well, you can't, you're not going to want to do that for just one no, individual no, shirt. No, no, Over here, we have Happy Japan. Um, We've always had a nice relationship with them. Again, it's Japanese made. It's kind of in the name. Yeah, right, um, right. This is right. actually Tex-Mac, who is the uh, primary distributor of Happy Japan Equipment. Okay. Um, big fan of, of what they make. Um, very well made. And I like it when the vendors do the most challenging possible stuff. So, you know, they're often going on the hardest to decorate hats um, you mean like and other products. Like well, embroidering on the mesh on the back. Yeah, and that, that does look like fun. Yeah, yeah. and it Ex looks good too. Express Screen is over here. They're a cool different way to uh, develop your screens um, for screen printing. You don't have to have that dark room. It's essentially a computer to screen operation with not stretching glue, not roller frames, their own technology. And you got Haynes here, tried and true. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. Haynes in their gigantic t shirt that they always have at the shows. Right, here's Threadfast. They have a nice line, soft shirts. They have Ninja Transfers, obviously one of the most popular um, in our industry for transfers. It is a cold peel, um, at least I think they still are. Um, but, you know, when it comes to outsourcing, I'm a big proponent of it. But whenever possible, I'm a fan of outsourcing to a local shop because I just feel like we can have a closer, better relationship from it rather than um, just, you know, somebody that kind of treats us like a number sometimes. Right, right. We don't want to be numbers because everything we do is custom is personal. Oh, my. Wow. Uh, can you imagine setting this machine up for three no. days of a show? No. No. This thing must take a semi, obviously, to bring it in here. How about, how about breaking it down when you have, like, 24 hours to break down? You know what's funny is? That I kid you not, a minute after this show ends tomorrow yeah, at three o'clock, yeah, everything. I mean, boom. they will start ripping up the carpet and, and everything. Yeah. They, it's quick turnover. I mean, again, this is one of the largest exhibit halls in the country. Sandmar. Sandmar. Can't go wrong with Sandmar, guys. Nope. I mean, I am a big Sandmar fan. I raise a PO every day with them. I love they manufacture a lot of their own blanks. Yeah, um, and they make great products. Their, their own brands are great. They are. The District, brand and Sport Tech, Sport Tech. Port Authority, uh, Port that. Company. And then I they, love Cornerstone. They, and, they, and they bring out new products. So they have a yep. whole new product line where it says coming soon, and I'm like, oh, I want to order those samples. Their customer service is incredible. What, hey, hey, they're on point. Meryl, you got to check out this Corny printer over here. Okay. So Corny is a leader in DTG. Yep. One thing that they have done is they've really incorporated, again, those additional colors beyond CMYK 
to open up that color gamut, especially when it comes to fluorescence. But they can get three-dimensional with the DTG, which is absolutely incredible. And their inline uh, here is just a sight to see. It's very similar to like the MR Polaris. Um, I can't remember what Rox is called, but this Corny um, Apollo is incredible. Look at this. Yeah, this is it's a, it's one a, unit. Yeah, you need like a whole room for this. It's good. A incredible. whole room. You need a whole warehouse. <laughs> but but <laughs> I mean, look at what all's going on in here. Looks like they're not really printing with it at the moment, but you need like a full time engineer in your shop. You do. In case yeah. something were to. Uh, happen. It looks like they're using a bulk ink system, though. But wow, it, wow. this is this is it's like a house. I know. At the front of the show, they had just like their two platen um, machine with no dryer. Th this inline technology. Look how wait. Look how big it is. I didn't realize I, it was I all know. Like this. Holy! It's like a football field. It's funny. I, I haven't asked them. It is funny sometimes. I'll, I'll approach like. How much is this? And they, they can't even really give me an answer necessarily until you're, oh, oh. <laughs> I love that. Or no, it wasn't that. That's that's the alpha or uh, Little Rascal's the right. one, right. one million. <laughs> you're making me feel old. Because I, I remember when that movie came out, Colin was like three and he can't. And I was like, I went. And most of the stuff went over my head, but it was still hilarious. <laughs> so funny. Right. Austin Powers. Whoa. Austin Danger Powers. <laughs> right, right. Um, I think we lost Sarah. Is she here somewhere? Uh, somewhere. Back here somewhere. When you, know, when you come to the show, and you, like Sarah's with me, so Sarah's our production manager, it is so amazing to be able to share with your staff that is actually, you know, it's not just the owner, the owners that need to come here, but when you bring your staff here, they actually can see things better, learn things better. I highly suggest, yeah, bring your staff. I bring my um, two production managers to the Impressions Long Beach show, uh -huh. but next year it might be Orlando, um, but I'm already planning the Disney World trip oh, nice. uh, for that. <laughs> nice. It's funny, I can't bring the two and four year old to Vegas, uh -huh. but uh, right, right, Orlando right. in October, right. They're, well, awesome. They're going right, to bring you. Yes. Right. right. So, yeah. and we are at the one and only Deco Network booth. Yeah. Again, I joke, you, you can't go wrong going blue. No. Nope. I mean, if, if, nope. there's, if the printer's blue, you know, not to say, hey, you know what? anything need, that's not blue I need is a junk. Deco Network t shirt. You I do. Need one. Yeah. You do. I wonder who could make you one. I don't know. Or I wonder who could send you the logo <laughs> right. to make exactly. you Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. Again, you guys got to think about going to Printing United Orlando next year. This is a show on a whole nother level. Um, had a great time. Yeah, Thank great you so time. much, Meryl, for oh, uh, joining us. Of course. And uh, look forward to yeah. uh, doing this again in the Absolute, near future. Absolutely. And uh, guys, again, check out our podcast that we did on the... Spill uh, the tea live. Spill the tea yep. not live. Yeah, on she is... YouTube channel. She has a whole room just dedicated to doing um, the podcast. podcast. Right, right. So... Right. right. And, and we're going to be doing more podcasts, more, more interesting stuff that people in our industry want to hear. And so just stay tuned and, you know, hey, if anybody wants to offer suggestions of who I should talk to, you know, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to have a conversation with people that are going to help us all build our businesses. And that's this industry. We are not look at each other like we're competitors. We need to bump heads. We are one big community yeah. there yeah. to help each other. And uh, it's, it's not like that in, in most industries. No, no, it's not. It's not. This is great. I'm so happy to be in this industry. Yep, and, and it's going nowhere because, yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as people are wearing this stuff, I know. it's, it's not going to stop. I know. And the Deco Network community is great. Yep. Really, really well, great. because we have people like you to make it a And community. people like you to bring us all together. I, I try. <laughs> I try. All right, guys. All right. Thank you, Meryl. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>